Well, hello everyone. I am back. Um, thank you everybody who has sent me messages, um, flowers, just little encouragements. Um, it's, it's been really helpful. Um, we'll talk about life stuff later. So this is probably going to be a long one and very little stitching in it. So I'm going to do it in the order that I hope will make the most sense for people in the order of like what they're interested in. So we'll jump right in with the stitching, talk about my plans for the coming month. Um, then we'll go into all the haul because I have been doing retail therapy in a huge way. So I had a bunch of stuff. Um, and then we'll move into a shop update, progress report, and then we'll go into all of that life stuff. So yeah, let's jump right in with the stitching. Uh, as you can imagine, I didn't get a ton of stitching done this month. There's just been a lot of other things on my mind, and to be perfectly frank, I'm not really in a great headspace, um, and I just haven't been feeling like stitching. But we'll work on it. We'll work on it. I did get some stuff done. So, first off, my WIPGO goals for the month. Uh, the first one was Margarita Dragon, and this is charted by Pain Free Crafts, and I can't remember offhand the name of the designer, but I'm pretty sure that it's on the uh, mock-up, and if it's not, I will print it somewhere on the screen. Uh, so the last time I showed this one to you, here's where I was at. Not very far at all. I'm actually not all that much farther. I got about a thousand stitches in on it, just a little over. So my 10 days, 1000 stitch goal met on the last day of the month, second to last day of the month. Um, and here's where it's at now. So I'm starting to get into some of the colors, some of the grays. Um, this entire page is just background, so it's going to keep going somewhat like that. And then when I get over here to page two, the very bottom corner will actually be dragon wing. So I've got a long ways to go on this before it's anything but a gray, solid gray um, background. My other... Oh, so many, so many. My other WIPCO project for the month was... Huge mess. Come on, you know what's here. Ah. Ink circles, five o'clock. And the last time I showed this one, it looked like this. And this one I got way more than go. Oh. This is all my junk. None of it's junk, it's all treasure. Um, I got way more than a thousand stitches done on this one. I loved working on it. I was trying for a page finish. I didn't quite get there, you'll see, but I came pretty darn close. So here's where it is at. I want to say I got in between 1,500 and 2,000 stitches on this one. So really enjoying it. I really love the way this one is turning out. Um, I can't wait if there is still one more square for this on my WIPGO board. And I can't wait for it to come up because I will get the first page finished and get a good start on the next page. Uh, this is stitched on Through the Stones by Be Stitch Me. Other project that I had already started that I continued working on was one of my StitchCon starts. 
This is one of the uh, Tea Time palette from the Spring Nashville Needlework Market. It is Ingleside Imaginarium's Tea Time Companion. I am doing it on 16 count Haunted by Picture This Plus. And the last time I showed it to you after I got back from StitchCon, here's where I was at. And I'm missing a needle. Oh, I know where the needle is, that's fine. And this one is actually, it's actually two rows less than it looks like. So just pretend the two, bottom two rows of silver are not there because I realized I needed to frog them. And at that point it was like 11.30 at night and I was ready to go to bed. So I put it down and I haven't picked it up since. Um, but here is where it's at right now. So you can start to see the dragon forming. And like I said, I have to pull a couple of rows out here. Not very much at all. Um, one of my Whipgo squares for this month is Smalls. More on that in plans. Um, but I'm hoping that this one will be finished this month. One can dream, right? And then last but not least, I had a new start. Uh, this was kind of building on the shop idea. Uh, it's my very first Hade. And this is, um, what's it called? Mini Tea and Books. It is artwork by Bridget Athsworth, uh, charted by Hade. And I am doing it two over one tent on 25 count Lugana. So it's going pretty fast because it is tent stitch and my needle minder has vanished and it's somewhere over here. Oh boy. Um, yeah, I'll find that later. My needle minders have all been sticking together. So you stay there. But anyway, so I'm getting a decent progress on the background. I've just barely started it and here it is. Very first ever Hade. So that is what I've been working on. What am I going to work on this month? Well, the Whipgo draws were 18 and 24. So I should be working on 18, which is Lola Crow, Cross Stitch, The Haunted Library. And I was super excited to start it. And I'm not going to. Because instead, um, for those of you who didn't watch my most recent update that was non-stitching, little bit of life update that you need to know to follow the rest of this. Um, my father passed away very unexpectedly on July 3rd. Uh, it was quite a shock and I am having a hard time with it. So one of the things that I am trying to do to help me cope a little bit is I'm gonna start a new project. Way, way, way back in 2019, when I picked up my needle and thread again after years off, uh, one of the very first, pro this is one of the very first projects I bought. It's called Northern Sunset. And I bought this because it reminded me of um, the property that my dad and my uncle owned in Michigan's Upper Peninsula. Um, and I thought that my dad might like this. And so I thought I might make it for him someday. Well, I started it and I wasn't thinking and I started it on white. Well, this is supposed to be on black. You see all of this? This is negative space. And I got so frustrated that I just put it up and I put it into long-term timeout and I haven't touched it since 2019. So I am restarting it. I got a new piece of black Ada 
from 123 Stitch. And I am restarting this project to remember my dad. Because one of my favorite things to do last summer was to ride up with him to that property in the UP and he would mow the lawn and after he got done mowing the backyard he'd sit a lawn chair out there so I could cross stitch out by the water while he mowed the front yard. And I loved taking those trips with him and it was something very special for the two of us. So I am going to stitch this for him now and I won't get to give it to him but I will have it to remember him. So that is the first project I will be working on and spending a lot of time on, and that's replacing Lola Crow. I haven't decided yet what I'm doing with the other one. I may continue to do smalls, and in that case, I'm going to try to finish Tea Time Companion, and I'm going to try to finish uh, one of my quilt squares. Or I might do this. My mom's best friend has been absolutely amazing through all of this stuff that has gone on with my dad and she has been like I mean she's my bonus mom so she's helped me with stuff I needed to get done she's let me stay at her house I've been over there swimming we've just gone out to dinner and talked and she's really helped me keep my sanity well one of the things that she we do is I go over to her house and we just hang out in the pool for hours. So while I was doing some of my haul, um, you know, nothing travels alone. So I was looking for something to go with something else I was buying. I found this. It's called Floating Friends. It's a Mary Englebright, um, put out by Imaginating. And I thought it's perfect. So I'm going to start this one. And I'm going to do it for my bonus mom. As a thank you for all the stuff that she's done lately. So those are the things I'm going to work on. I'm also going to try to keep up with uh, mini tea and books. I would like to have that finished within a year. Ideally nine months because I'd love to have it in the shop, but I digress. Um, so those are the things I'm gonna be focusing on, is my stitch for my dad, the floating friends, maybe some smalls, and I'm gonna keep up with my hate. So there we go, there is all the stitching stuff. If that's all you're here for, then I hope that you have a wonderful week, two weeks, However long, I am not committing to a schedule of any sort right now uh, because things are just insane. I mean, I can't even find my glasses. If you've noticed, these are my old ones. So, yeah. We'll jump right into, first thing, before I get into my haul, I have a little bit of stitchy kindness slash prize. So I mentioned in my last video that I was participating in the Stitch for Sage, uh, Sage of Night Spirit Studios. Everybody was getting together and doing a, a stitch to kind of support her um, in her cancer battle. And I had joined in. And by joining in, I got entered into a drawing for a bag. And this was uh, Kaylee, Tent Stitch. And some other people were putting on. Well, I won. So <laughs> I got this lovely bag made by Kaylee Tent Stitch um, with, out of Night Spirit Studio fabric. So isn't this cool? This is my bag. The vinyl front, the Night Spirit Studio fabric. I've got a little Gomez and Morticia zipper pull. Beautiful. Cannot wait to use it. So thank you very much, Kaylee. Thank you. Hi. You're going to come up here and make a mess, aren't you? 
No, none of that is none of that is stuff you can have. That's another thing is my friends have been incredibly generous not only with me but with Lil Miss here. So um, here, take one of your new toys that your auntie sent you and go do something else. All right, retail therapy. Honestly, that's how I've been coping. Um, is planning things and making projects and doing stuff and just trying to trying to keep myself looking forward to stuff, uh, which results in lots of new things coming in. Oh goodness, where, where do I start? Okay, first up, I invested in Mac Stitch. And I'm gonna try my hand at a little bit of pattern making. So, I felt like I needed to get the full DMC color card with all the threads on it because I've been reliably informed that the one that is just photographs isn't as true to color. So I got the DMC color card so that I can do some floss matching. And while I was doing that, because nothing travels alone, I got the threads that I plan to use for my first pattern design. So, sneak peek. I've got Summer Sky by Classic Color Works. Actually, I think these, no, they're not all Classic Color Works. I have Grasshopper, Classic Color Works. Antique Lace. And then these two are gen the Gentle Art. Um, here's Holly Berry. And Black Pro. And I've already started designing the pattern, so stay tuned. At StitchCon, I got a couple of patterns. Well, I got a lot of patterns, but I got a couple that are important to this moment right here. So I got the Adventure Sampler from Sam Bree Stitches. And I went ahead and ordered the floss pack for that. So it's kind of shiny, but you can see. These are all Be Stitch Me Silks. I think there's 10 of them in here. Very exciting, very expensive. And then the other pattern that I got is by Salty Stitcher Design. This is Moonlight Sail. And I absolutely love this one. And I thought that the fabric looked kind of familiar. And it was, because it turns out I have a piece because this fabric is Bang, which was designed for um, Glendon Place's Poltergeist Pirate. Well, I'm gonna stitch Poltergeist Pirate on Bang also, so I had to get a new piece. This is by the Crossed Wing Collection. Um, I sourced it through Garon Stitchery. I got a new cone. It's not quite a cone of doom. But I am using so much 3799 now that I had to get this because my pandemic is monochrome stitched in 3799. Um, Margarita Dragon has a ton of 3799. 
It's in um, the Haunted Library. It's in a bunch of other stuff. So now I have a code of 3799, which I really should have gotten the moment I did Pandemic. All right, one of my No Floss Travels Alone purchases. I can't even remember what I bought this with. Um, I think it came with, I think I got it with the, the cone. Anyway, a new Mill Hill kit. This is the taco. Can't wait to do that one. Love tacos. I have realized that if I'm going to do this shop thing and I'm going to be serious about it, I'm going to have to have some projects that aren't as much my style and I'm going to need model stitches for some of them. So I took, I'm not a Quakers person, we know this, but I'm going to probably have to do some more Quakers and primitives and stuff like that for model stitches. And I actually do like this one. So I got Leela's Studio Halloween Quaker. And then I got all the fancy flosses for that one, all the non DMC flosses. I got a lot of stuff. Um, some of my no floss travels alone. I got some more smaller pieces of fabric instead of the fat quarters I usually get. I got a couple of fat eighths. So um, this is a 16 count glacier by picture this plus a smaller piece fat eighth. And this is, picture this plus, Coastal, also 16 count. I got a couple new shirts. Um, Athena Stitching Goddess Designs has a Facebook group, if you're not aware, uh, where she makes custom stitching shirts. And I got me some. So I got stitching because adulting is hard. And these are all wrinkly because I wore them and they just got out of the dryer and then they got all wrinkly. And sable, stash acquired beyond life expectancy. Life expectancy equals immortal. I can never die. I have too much stitching to do. Fabrics of the month. I swear I'm almost done with the haul. Promise, promise. Fabrics of the month. Uh, Mystic for July. Another one of these awesome neutrals. This one's a little bit darker. This is cobblestone. A lovely brownie gray. And I'm really excited to see the spoiler post was for the August fabric of the month was posted today. Um, and I didn't peek, but just from the description of the fabric, I can't wait to see it. And then my Be Stitch Me fabric of the month, neutral month. This is called Lightly Salted Not Roasted. So it looks like a raw peanut. But wait, there's more. I promise this is the last thing. Um, 
my Black Needle Society stitch. I'm just wondering where my dog found something to eat. Huh. My Black Needle Society uh, Buzzworthy Stitching Box came, and I already unboxed it because I couldn't wait. Um, and I gotta be honest, I wasn't too excited about this theme. Bees, not my thing. Um, but it's not so bad. It's not so bad. Actually, a lot, the stuff in it is really cool, and the, the pattern is awesome. It's not my style. I won't stitch it. It'll be on a freebie table at a retreat somewhere. Um, but it's a cool pattern. But some of this stuff. So, tote bag. Be calm and stitch. I like this. Specialty threads are silks this month. They are Be Stitch Me silks. I love them. So we've got Chick. We've got Maka, Bumblebee, is not to eat, and Beehive. Is this going to be your comic relief, huh? Her new nickname is Baby Shark. Remind me to tell you about that. Right? The Needle Minder. Queen Bee. Examine. B socks, and they say be kind. Honeycomb, honeycomb floss drops. Tangy honey mustard dip spread dressing or cheese ball mix. Keep that away from her. Well, it smells good. A ruler, and it's got a Winnie the Pooh quote on it. People say nothing is impossible, but I do nothing every day. True story. A bee pollen and turmeric and clay mask. And then we have the fabric, which is by Color and Cotton. And this is called Spiced Honey. I like that. And the pattern by Tiny Modernist. We should be friends. And it says, a day without a friend is like a pot without a single drop of honey left inside. So there you have it. There is all my haul. I feel like I have run a marathon or something. No, not really, but I mean, it was long. It was long, it was long, it was long. I've got more stuff coming. Next month won't be this bad, but I've got more stuff coming. I have two things on, on route right now. Um, and then the Halloween stuff is going to start getting here. Pre-orders. So, there's haul. Life updates. Get your nose out of there, ma'am.
You want to come up here with me since part of this is about you? You want to come up? Hey. This side? Come on. Up. I know you know how to do this. You wouldn't believe that one of the life updates is that she graduated from obedience school, would you? Because I swear it's the truth. No. Leave it. Leave it. Yes, she graduated from obedience class. Um, I was pretty proud of her. She'll behave when food's involved. That's about it. The rest of the time. It's kind of like this. She got spayed last week, and boy, did she put me through the ringer. No, Maka. Uh-uh. Stop. She's after that dip. Come on, you can come up. So she got spayed. Her stitches are still in right now. And, um, boy, she's been giving me a headache. She can open the front door now, so she's let herself outside a couple of times. At one point, I was outside, and I turn around, and she comes trotting up to me, and I'm like, I'm sure I left you in the house. Another time, I was out in the garage, and I came in, and the front door was open, and she had decided to go out doing whatever she does. She, we're on reduced activity. She doesn't know what that means. Um, so yeah, she hasn't really done that. She got her meds off the counter and swallowed an extra dose. <laughs> yes, yes, all, you did all this. I was cleaning out uh, part of the house and she cut herself on a piece of broken glass that I still don't know where she found it because I swear nothing on that shelf was broken. <laughs> um, but anyway, there was blood and so it scared me because I thought she ripped her stitches open. But no, it was just a little cut. And it stopped bleeding. And after that, she was crated whenever I was cleaning. No, no, you can't eat my glasses. Hi, stop. You can't eat my watch either. Um, we, her new nickname is Baby Shark because she has two extra teeth on the top. They went in, they were going to pull them while they were, had her under anesthetic for her spay. And instead they found out that they're, no, they're adult teeth. They're not baby teeth. So they stayed. So she just has an extra row like a shark. And she likes to use them, as you can see. Gentle. Gentle. And she has clearly been missing my attention. <laughs> so, there's all things maca. All things maca. She's part shark, and she's just a little jerk. Just a little jerk. So. Oh, I said I was going to do the store update first so that if you didn't want to hear about my dog, you didn't have to. Sorry. All of, you've learned all about my dog. Okay. Store update. I literally, like two hours ago, met with someone from the Michigan Small Business Development Association. Um, I've been assigned a consultant to help me get started. Ah, so we talked a little bit and I have an assignment to work on. Yeah. And she was also very disruptive during that meeting. So it's not just you all that she likes to disrupt. Um, 
So I'm working on that. I could use some help if you know anyone who has an LNS that does cross stitching supplies or knitting supplies, or if you know someone that has a tea shop, I need to start doing market research to put together my business plan. Um, so I need to talk to people that are already in the industry and know what the heck they're doing, because I don't. And, you know, to figure out things like inventory and like all kinds of stuff. I am still working on my business classes. I passed my first one. Ow. Yay. Working on my second one right now. Hope to have that one done by the end of the month. Middle of the month, ideally. But end of the month, definitely. I haven't been working on my tea class. I need to. Um, but yeah, if... Anyone who knows any leads or knows someone who knows someone that you could help me get in touch with, that would be awesome, super, super cool. But I'm actually taking steps to make it happen. Even with everything that happened this month, um, I did manage to get a little bit of work in. Not nearly what I wanted, um, but I got a little bit in. And we're still moving forward, just not as quickly as I would have liked. All right, the rest of life update. I mean, it all boils down to I'm having a hard time. That's why I didn't do the whip parade. And I know I, several people have told me I don't owe anybody anything. I would have liked to do it. Um, it would have been fun, but I don't have the bandwidth to do the kind of editing and pulling everything out and putting everything away and all the giant stuff that 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 would need. So no whip parade until the end of the year. Um, things are going okay with sorting out the estate. Um, my dad pretty much had everything in order. The only thing was we did not we did not expect him to pass away quite so soon. Uh, so even the lawyer is a little bit like there were a few things that weren't quite done yet. So things are, are coming together relatively well, but it's slow going. Um, I have inherited the house. I have inherited the 120 year old farmhouse. It needs some work. It There was some stuff that dad already had in motion that uh, we were going to do this summer that is still going to happen but I need to redo some of this house I need to make it feel like I'm not living in my parents house I think that's going to be better for my mental state than if I just sit here and leave everything as it is so I've started clearing out some of the rooms. I'm going to put new flooring down, getting rid of all the carpet in the downstairs area. You're going to have to wait five minutes. Okay, five minutes. Um, do some new furniture. Uh, I'm going to convert the room that I currently do a lot of my stitching in. I'm going to bring a lot of my crafting equipment into it and make it kind of a sitting room slash crafting room um, and so that's probably going to take a lot of my time but I don't really have a lot to share it's just been I, I'm so overwhelmed that like I'm not getting anywhere. So I'm trying. I'm trying. And boy, this is a downer. <laughs> um, I'm getting there. I am slowly and sure, but surely getting back to where I need to be. And that's the bottom line. And that's all you really need to know. 
and I don't have a ton more to say. Reading, watching, listening to. I actually have some things to talk about. I finished the last book in the Trials of Apollo series, Rick Riordan, uh, The Tower of Nero. Finally finished it. It was an on audio, so I had to travel for work earlier this week, so I finished it. Um, I love Rick Riordan, so of course it was great. Uh, the audiobooks for that series are narrated by Robbie Davin, um, who is a really talented voice actor. So I really enjoyed listening to those. I was kind of sad to see them end. And then watching, I am watching season two of Good Omens. And I am about two episodes in and so far, love it. Awesome. Lots and lots of fun. So there you have it. That's what I've been reading, watching, listening to. And my dog is very insistent that she wants to go outside right now because the sandhill cranes are out in the field and she needs to go check this out. So I'm going to go ahead and get going. I hope everybody has a fantastic however long it is until I make the next video. Uh, stay safe. Stay healthy. See you next time. I am coming. Bye. Mox.